What is up everybody, this is Ninja Mill here and I'm gonna show you five Taekwondo kicks that you can do from the comfort of your home. Let's hop into it. Yeah. Check. Flex on a pajama, crush him when you want him, take no damage. Bling, 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 that's how we do it. You can call me HP, pimp, pimp, bad minute, yeah. So the first thing you always want to do before you exercise is to make sure that you guys have a pre-workout plan. I recommend exercising for five minutes before your actual workout. I suggest things like jumping jacks, squats, making sure you do some high knees, some push-ups, and of course, making sure you stretch your legs out before we do those kicks. So the first drill we're going to do is our front snap kick drill. You want to make sure that you have one hand on the wall, you have the other hand underneath your chin, and you want to lift your knee up as high as you can. As you are kicking, make sure that you isolate your knee so that way you're not moving your entire body with your kick. You only want to focus on just letting your leg out, extending it, and pulling it back. I recommend doing reps of 10 on each leg three times. So the next drill we're about to do is our figure eight kick. You want to make sure you have one hand on the wall just like the previous exercise along with having your second hand underneath your chin. This time your leg is going to be super straight and you're going to make a figure eight motion with your leg. Make sure it is very small and you do this for 20 seconds on each leg twice. Next drill, we are going to be doing our fast repeating roundhouse kicks. You want to make sure that you have a chair to hold on to while your second hand goes underneath your chin. When you lift your leg up, make sure your body is pivoted sideways. You want to make sure your knee is as high as your hip, but you want to pull it back so that way your elbow and your knee are in one straight line. As you extend, isolate your knee and make sure you do all the work in your foot. You're going to make sure that you do this for 30 reps, one time. In our next drill, we are going to be using the chair again, but this time, instead of doing the repeating roundhouse kicks at our middle level, we're going to do it towards the low, middle, and high level this time. The first one is going to be done towards the shin level. You want to kick all the way down 10 times and then you're going to lean your body back some more, keep your knee in the center of your body towards your hip, and you're going to do 10 in the middle. And then on the last one, you're going to lean even lower, and you're going to kick as high as your face. You will only need to do this one time on each leg, 10 times going up. doing the low middle high side kick it is very similar to the roundhouse kick only this time instead of bringing your knee back you're going to be bringing your knee forward into your belly and your chest now with your foot there are two ways you can kick either you can kick with the bottom of your foot or you can blade your foot to where your pinky toe is up front and you extend very slow towards the low middle and high. You're going to do 10 going low, 10 in the middle, super slow, and then 10 coming high. You only need to do this one time on each leg.
enjoyed the five Taekwondo drills. If you guys would like to see more, make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.